Hi everyone. We're going to consider this equation here and we have to write an expression for the slope of the curve at any point x, y. So that just means we're going to take the derivative and solve for um, derivative of y with respect to x. And uh, since we have this x, y mixed thing, we have to use implicit differentiation. Then we write the equation of the tangent lines to the curve at that point x equals 2 and find the second derivative at 0 comma 4. So let's get started. We're going to use implicit differentiation for this equation. So if we start, let me go ahead and write it out again. So we get x squared minus 2xy plus 4y squared. So let's differentiate. We get 2x and that's times the derivative of x with respect to x. Remember, this is just going to equal 1. All right, minus 2. And then uh, we're going to do x times the derivative of y with respect to x plus y with a uh, derivative of x with respect to y. And then this piece here will be plus 8 y, um, derivative of y with respect to x equals 0. All right, now this just gives us 1 here, and this just gives us 1. So basically we have 2x minus 2 times x, derivative of y with respect to x, plus y, plus 8y, derivative of y with respect to x and set it to 0. And now simply just solve for derivative of y with respect to x. So I'm going to distribute first the 2 plus, uh, minus 2y, sorry. Don't forget to distribute the negative plus 8y, derivative of y with respect to x. Now, let's combine like terms, and we're going to get, um, what we really want to do is, um, first of all, let's go ahead and divide everything by 2. So you get x minus x, just makes it easier, minus y plus 4y, derivative of y with respect to x equals 0. Now, let's combine, um, let's keep the derivative of y's with respect to x on the left side and move this um, x and y on the right side. So we're going to have negative x, derivative of y with respect to x, plus 4y, derivative of y with respect to x, equals y minus x. Now factor out your dy dx and so you get dy divided by dx and that's going to be 4y minus x equals y minus x and then divide. So we want to isolate the derivative of y with respect to x. So that's going to be y minus x divided by 4y minus x. So on the A-B examination, this, this is worth two points, one just for differentiation and one for simplifying correctly. All right, now we have to find the equation of the tangent lines to the curve at point x equals 0. So we have the x at uh, point x equals 0, or x equals 2, sorry. And we're going to use the point-slope form, which is this. where um, x1, x sub 1, and x sub 1, y sub 1, is the point on the curve. And the derivative at that point is the slope m. So first we need to know what the value of y is when x is 2. So we're just going to plug in uh, our 2. And so we have, let's write x squared minus 2xy plus 4y squared, 
and when you plug that in you're going to get 2 squared minus 2 times 2y plus 4y squared and this is going to equal 64 so then what we're going to do is simplify so you get 4 minus 4y plus 4y squared equals 64 so we just rewrite this 4y squared minus 4y and subtract the 64 and you get 0 um, and you use the quadratic formula you divide everything by uh, 4 you get y squared minus y minus 16 equals 0 and we have to use the quadratic formula so basically what you're going to get is y equals 1 plus or minus square root of 61 divided by 2 which gives you 4 plus approximately 4.41 um, and negative 3.41 so we know that these are the two values when x is 2 and to negative 3.41 Alright, now that we have our points, um, we need the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. So recall, we had dy over dx equals y minus x divided by 4y minus x. So when you plug in at y equals 4.41 and x equals 2, you're going to get so we're doing this one. You're going to get 4.41 minus 2 divided by 4 times 4.41 minus 2. And this gives you uh, 0 0.15. Now at y equals negative 3.41, um, you're going to get the derivative of y with respect to x equals negative, and this is where x equals 2, negative 3.41 minus 2 divided by 4 times negative 3.41 minus 2. And that gives you 0 0.35. Now, plugging into our equations, um, we have y, we're using point slope form, y minus 4.41 equals, um, the first one was 0 0.15 times x minus 2, and the other one is y plus 3.41 equals, and this was our slope here, 0 0.35 times x minus 2. And it's not necessary to simplify those. So this one is uh, worth three points. One for finding the y-coordinates and one for finding the correct slopes and one for finding the correct line. Okay, and the last part we have to do is find the second derivative. So we want the second derivative of y with respect to x at zero comma 4. Alright, so once we have the first derivative, we just have to differentiate again to find the second derivative. Uh, but we have to use implicit differentiation again. So basically we have dy dx equals y minus x divided by 4y minus x. So now we want to find the use the quotient rule to find the second derivative. So this is going to equal 4y minus x divided by, or times, let's do this, times the derivative of the numerator, which is going to be dy dx minus dx dx. Again, this is just going to be 1. Right then, we take uh, minus y minus x 
times 4 dy dx minus dx 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 divided by dx. All right, so let's just simplify this a little bit and use our ones. I should have done that. Oh, and then we have this 4y minus x squared. So simplifying again, so you're going to get 4y minus x times dy divided by dx minus 1. We're just simplifying these two. All right. Uh, minus y minus x times 4 dy dx minus 1. Now, um, we plug in, what we're going to have to do is plug in for dy dx equals that. So, for this one and this one, we're going to plug in this equation. So, what you get is um, derivative of second derivative of y with respect to x equals 4y minus x. And now we have to do all this plugging in. y minus x divided by 4y minus x minus 1 minus y minus x. We'll squeeze this in here times 4 um, times y minus x. This is times um, 4y minus x minus 1. All right, over, don't forget your denominator, 4y minus x squared. Now, we would have to use a lot of algebra to simplify this, but fortunately, we can just plug in our 0, 4. So we don't want to simplify and just plug all that in. So we get derivative, second derivative of y with respect to x equals, you're going to get 16 times 4 over 16 minus 1. All right, then you have minus 4 times 4 times uh, 4 over 16 minus 1. And this is going to give you negative 3 over 64. And on this problem, you, you can use a calculator. So that's it. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye. Yeah.